biodynamics were beautifully outlined uh, many, many moons ago. Uh, this book was originally written by Fecott and Hungerford. It was called The Disorders of the Patellofemoral Joint. And that original book came out in the mid-70s. And this diagram, what they basically did was they showed where does the patella contact the femur throughout the range of motion? And how large is the area of contact? And what we basically find is that when the knee is extended, when I'm standing in full extension, the patella is actually up and out of the groove. In other words, it is not in contact with the femoral circus. So basically, in full extension, my patella's here, and here's, here's the edge of the femoral sulcus. It's actually above it, okay? As we start to flex at approximately 30 degrees, we now have the inferior part of the patella making contact with the superior part of the femoral sulcus. Then as we go deeper into the range, we now have a much larger area of contact. It's now the mid portion. The largest area of contact is somewhere between 45 and 60 degrees. Now what's interesting about that is, where do we see the largest, if we use isokinetic assessment, and remember the old force curve, what we basically find is your peak area or your peak torque readings will be somewhere between 45 and 60 degrees. So the largest area of contact corresponds to your largest loading, which makes total sense. One of the more interesting basic facts is if we look at the thickness of the articular cartilage in the back of the patella, it's the thickest articular cartilage that we find in the human body. It's basically about six millimeters thick in its deepest areas. That basically tells us that this patella sees more loads than any other articular surface in the body. As we go deeper in deflection, the only time the odd facet, this real medial, most medial portion comes in contact is if we're in very deep flexion. The term is hunkering, going down all the way down and hunkering down like this. That's the only time that it really truly comes into contact. So that's the reason it doesn't really get well nourished.